And finally, uh, last question is coming from uh, Sandra. Hi there, Sandra. Thank you for being part of our amazing Wigwam community. Uh, Sandra says, um, I used to work for a local law firm as an employee conveyancer, but was so unhappy there as the workload was too high and the pay was too low. Uh, recently, I took the leap into consultancy working for a large firm. They provide some clients, but now also want me to grow my own client base. The theory being we share them across the network of consultants who work for this firm. However, I don't know where to start and I'm panicking a bit. I have a Facebook account, but get nothing from that. Also on LinkedIn and listed on various industry sites. None are generating me any leads. Do you have any advice as to how I can grow my client network and be seen as trustworthy? Uh, brackets, which of course I am. All right there, Sandra. Well, thank you for your question. Um, great to hear that you've uh, sort of changed position and you're now in this sort of consultancy role uh, within a law firm. But um, the, the the answer to your question, Sarah, uh, sorry, Sandra, is um, my view is that this wouldn't necessarily be a, a quick fix to your solution. But if you want to the, the first decision I think you need to make, Sandra, is do you want to just earn fees and earn that money quickly and, and easily and not have to think too much about it? Or do you want to build your own reputation and be known for delivering the highest quality, the best service, and as a consequence, be rewarded more for it? Now, I don't know whether you you have to fit into a certain uh, pay structure or certain fee structure, should I say, for the work that you do for this particular firm. But let's say, for example you've got free reign on how you approach this. Um, I, If I were in your shoes, Sandra, what I'd be looking to do first and foremost is to start to build what I call a content marketing machine or a content nurturing machine. And what that means, uh, if you look online, okay, you are going to find that there are hundreds of thousands of people all looking for help and support uh, with a house moving journey, and particularly when it comes to dealing with a conveyancer. So you're already in demand. That's the first point. Second, you need to demonstrate your knowledge and expertise to your audience in advance if you're going to want to attain the highest level of fees that you can for the work that you do. And, and what that does, by demonstrating your knowledge, you're, you're earning the most valuable commodity in the business world, which is trust. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, you let's say you just love the format of what we do at Wikiwam, where you just answer people's property questions week in, week out but from a conveyancing perspective. Let's say, for example, you sat down for an hour every week, as, as we do, okay, and you took four or five or six conveyancing-related questions, and you just answered them in a way that helps everybody from a first-time buyer to a second-time mover to a property investor who's bought hundreds of properties over their lifetime to a, a couple that are looking to retire, downsize, haven't sold a house in you know 40 years or whatever it might be. And you address all of that content and information in questions through a laptop using the camera on the laptop and a piece of recording software. And you just speak to the camera over the course of you know five or 10 minutes answering each one of these questions. And you start to build up that knowledge database. Now, that can all be hosted on a platform like Wikiwam. I mean, if you, if you go out into the world and you start looking to host these videos on a particular platform as an educational solution, you're going to be paying hundreds, if not thousands of pounds in order to plug into that system. You can plug into Wigiwam for not a lot of money at all. I think it's about 47 quid a month. Okay, you can plug into Wigiwam. You can set up your own learning education suite within Wigiwam, host all of your content on there, all of your videos, all of your checklists, whatever else it might be, all of your expertise can be demonstrated there quite comfortably. So when a client is looking to employ a conveyancer, you know, here's a link to some of my uh, previous questions that I've answered for people like you who are in a similar position to you who are looking to move home. Okay. Now, if I'm a first time buyer and I'm nervous as hell about I'm going to lose a ton of money or I'm going to be ripped off left, right, and center, or I don't know what I'm doing, and you send me a link and I go onto your little, um, you know, learning center there and I have a look and I start watching these videos and I see that actually, you're really competent. You know what you're talking about. I've got to see your face. I've got to see how you interact. Okay. All of a sudden, I'm starting to form a relationship with you. I'm starting to build trust with you. Okay. I'm starting to understand who you are as a professional who can help me. 
all of a sudden, if I've got the choice of using you, who's provided me with all this valuable knowledge and information up front for free, or one of your competitors who just quotes me, yeah, 599 plus fat for conveyancing down the phone, it's a complete no-brainer. Okay, so you can start to justify an increase in your fees because of your professionalism. Okay, now this is not an overnight thing. This is a, a slightly slower burn. But the point is, it puts you on the map as an individual, Sandra, beyond any firm that you're tied to. And this is where I really believe that estate agency and conveyancing in particular, will start to go as an industry. It's already there if you think about it. So um, we were talking to an estate agent in the last week or so, and um, they actually said, we never recommend firms, we only recommend conveyances. And what they mean is that a conveyancer, you might have 10 conveyances working at a firm, but one will stand out head and shoulders above the rest. That person gets the work because they formed a good relationship with them. That person moves to another firm, they follow that person. Okay, so it's already happening in the business world as it is today, but I think it's going to become more and more important. So it's about raising your profile. And it can feel a little bit uncomfortable to do this initially, I won't lie, you know, it is difficult to sort of speak to camera, and you might be a bit, uh, uh, mm -mm. it doesn't really matter, just get the content out there. Because people like this uh, natural style of of being taught, uh, being um, educated, or, or people talking to them in some way, and then you can start to plug that content into your marketing operation. So let's say, for example, you uh, start to forge links with your local community. You go and start talking to uh, local estate agents, and you ask them what is their biggest problem that they're trying to resolve. And if it's anything like the estate agents that we talk to on a weekly basis, they're going to say to you, "Oh well, trying to get th deals through to completion." Uh, as quickly as possible is proving to be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, well, I'm a, I'm a conveyancing solicitor. I can probably help you with that. Oh, really? How can you help me with that? Well, this is what we do. We guarantee completion. Uh, oh, sorry, we guarantee be, tea to be exchange ready within six weeks. You, you, you guarantee that? Yeah, yeah, we guarantee that we will be exchange ready within six weeks. But well, how, how can you guarantee that? Okay, well, here's how we do it. Okay. And that might involve you saying, do you know what? Our fee is 1500 pounds and we'll be exchange ready within six weeks. If we're not, okay, each week that we go on, we'll knock off £100. Well, who else is doing that out there right now? So it takes eight weeks to complete. The client pays £1,300 instead of £1,500. Now you've got skin in the game. You're operating completely differently to any other conveyancing solicitor out there, okay, because you've got skin in the game. You're saying, do you know what? I'll share the risk with you. It's more you're financially motivated then to get the deal done within six weeks or to be exchange ready within six weeks rather than eight. At the moment, any other conveyancing solicitor that you go to within reason will say, we'll never commit to that timescale because uh, it, you know it's out of our hands. It might rely upon another solicitor being non-cooperative or you know they're going to take their time to uh, get the deal done. And you're going to find a lot of resistance to doing things to a particularly set time frame. Okay, well, why not offer that? Where's the risk to you? You, you by charging 1200 1500 pounds for your conveyance, you're probably charging twice the market average. But as a client, I'd be like, Well, okay, this, 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 you know, guy or girl is really smart because they're going, We'll take the risk with you, we'll share the burden. It's not just all on you as a client, it's actually on us as well. You're starting to see, hopefully, that there's major differentiating, dif differentiating factors or USPs that you can use over and above what your competition will be using. So that's exactly where I would pitch myself. Um, I'd go down the road of offering first-class service, constant communication, because that's exactly what the market's crying out for. And, you know, being able to reassure your clients every step of the way. And that's how you'll get to charge the bigger books. But not only that, you're going to start to generate massive referral work uh, from sites like Wigiwam or other estate agents in your local area who just get a stellar service from you who know that you're reliable, who know you're a person of your word, you're going to get back to them. You're going to update them with the uh, transaction or every step of the way. And as a consequence, you're just going to get more and more deals referred to you. Why, why wouldn't people do that, you know? So I hope that helps and gives you some pointers, Sandra. Um, it, it, it's exactly what I, what I think uh, wh where the market's going. It's exactly what I think is going to happen over the course of the next um, couple of years. And I think we're going to move away from the shackles of uh, firms and organizations back down to individuals. That's it. That's exactly where the, the way I think things will work. And, uh, you know, if you join a site like Wigiwan, for example, 
you can contribute to the forums that are on there to help people get their property questions answered. And then when everybody says, looking for a solicitor to help me with my transaction, well, boom, your name will come up time and time again. You know what I mean? So hopefully that gives you some pointers. Um, Sandra, I'd be delighted to, uh, you know, walk you through WIGUAM and, and give you a bit of a demo there, show you exactly how it can help you to build your profile or indeed any other conveyancing solicitor watching this to show you how to build your profile, exactly why we believe that it is going to go down to the role of the individual rather than the firm as a point of uh, focus within uh, the business world right now and how you can use that to really leverage the power of the internet so that you've got this 24-7 content marketing machine working in the background, gathering your clients from all over the, well, I won't say all over the world, but yeah, certainly from a much bigger reach than your local area. Okay, so if you want any more information on that, Sandra, just drop me an email, happy to help at wium.co.uk. Just put demo in the, in the title there and I'll uh, arrange that, view, uh, that demo with you ASAP. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've uh, got to the end of today's webinar. I've been uh, really passionate about getting through some of these questions. You've had some fantastic questions, uh, which I really, really appreciate you all uh, contributing to uh, this valuable knowledge bank and resource that we're, we're building now within Wigawam. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to get value out of watching these uh, videos in the future and also going through these questions. So thank you so much uh, for contributing. As I say, we're here every week doing this week in, week out. So please do um, share this information with other people in your network. Uh, please share these videos on your social media um, uh, platforms, etc. And also feel free to to submit your questions to us. Uh, you can send them in via email, happy to help at uk. That's happy to help at uk. You can also send them through to us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at wiggywam underscore UK. So that's at wiggywam underscore UK. Or you can go to our website, which is wiggywam.co.uk, uh, and you can uh, register your profile on there, send questions to us in a direct message, or post them onto our forum, and we'll take them in and we'll answer them each and every week. So thank you once again for watching. Thank you for being part of the amazing Wiggywam community. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, thank you for pledging your allegiance to the property revolution. And I look forward to welcoming you on and seeing you on another webinar again in the near future. So thanks once again. Look after yourselves. Uh, God bless and see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.